Hey, how's it going? Uh, Mr. Bill here, and today I wanted to just share a quick tip with you guys um, on how you can like select shit in these drop down menus here in Ableton faster to speed up your workflow a bit. And it's been saving me a ton of time today because I'm trying to freeze tons of channels in all of these projects so I can share the project file with you. So, this is the Schleppy project, which is a track that me and AU5 wrote. And basically, um, a lot of the channels here, they have third-party plugins on them, which means I need to freeze the channels. But they also have sidechain compressors on them, which means it won't let me freeze the channel. If I try and freeze this channel with Massive on it, it says it can't be frozen. And I know most people have Massive, but just for those who don't, I uh, want to be able to freeze everything. So all you need is able to, to open the project file. But anyway, this isn't about the project file. This is about um, this technique or little thing that I've been doing today to save me a ton of time. So basically what I've been doing uh, is uh, <coughs> setting up these channels that ha happen directly underneath the channel with the third party stuff on it. So for instance, this channel here is called Square Tone and then there's a channel under it called Square Tone Sidechain Compressor. But the problem, uh, so for instance, uh, let, let's do it with this one. Uh, I'll create a channel underneath new AU5 chords and I'm going to call this channel new AU5 chords sidechain compressor and then I'm going to put the sidechain compressor on this channel uh, so I can feed this channel into it and then freeze it so this is now freezable um, <coughs> but it, uh, but the channel needs to be routed into into this channel basically uh, so I could, uh, the thing that's been taking me a while is sort of looking through this list and trying to find the sidechain compressor channel that I just created here called new AE5 chord sidechain thing and if I scroll through I can find it eventually like here it is right here but there's a way way faster way to do it and it's been saving me tons of time and this is how you do it you just click on the drop down menu and then you literally just type the name of the thing you want so if I type new AE5 there you go that's it just hit enter and it's done uh, and then I can you know color these the same <coughs> and then freeze this channel uh, and then yeah basically that works for any drop down menu input or output on any basically any drop down menu in live and uh, it's something I've known for a while but something that hasn't really helped me a lot until today so I figured um you know maybe I'll share the trick with you guys seeing as uh, it's uh, saved me a lot of time today and hopefully if you're doing some monotonous task like this um, can save you a lot of time as well so yeah anyway thanks for watching and uh hopefully this project file will be out soon and, and you can all have it cheers